Welcome back everyone, today I'm going to present you the 10 best skill moves in basketball. Now before I show you the list, I just like to say that the moves are ranked in no particular order. We start the list with the skyhook. A skyhook has a form of a hook shot, where the basketball is released from the shooter's hand at the peak of the arc. It helped Kareem Abdul-Jabbar become the most prolific scorer in NBA history. However, the skyhook is very hard to master, which is why we don't see it often in today's game. The second move is the slam dunk. The dunk is one of the most famous finishes in basketball, with it being a very spectacular play. Most basketball players dream of dunking, but in order to achieve that, you either need to have a 40 inch vertical or measure 7 feet tall. Another solution is to lower the rim or use a trampoline. At number 3, we have the Dream Shake. It is a series of post-up moves to shake your defender. It was used by Hakim the Dream Olajuwon. Spinning one way, back the other, the dream shake. Yeah. Into the post to Elijah Wan. Turns, comes around Michael Thompson. Next up, we have the crossover. To be precise, a crossover is a change of hand dribble move, but it can also be identified as a series of moves used to create separation with your defender. Whether it's a change of direction, a pullback, a spin move, a hesitation, or a nutmeg, etc. etc. The fifth move is the finger roll. It is a specialized type of layup where the ball is rolled off the tips of the player's finger. It also brings height to your layup, which will help you avoid getting blocked. A very similar type of finish is rolling the ball so it can spin off the backboard. You notably need to master those two types of finishes if you want to make just layups. Continuing the list, we have the turnaround fadeaway. A fadeaway is usually a tough contested shot where you fall back to create space between you and your defender. My favorite version of it is the turnaround fadeaway. It is basically doing a spin move that turns into a jump shot. It is not easy to master, but it's really effective because while you spin, the defender doesn't know if you picked up the ball or not, which gives you time to fire. At number 7, we have Jamal Crawford's signature move, the shake and bake. Which is basically an advanced version of the pro hop. To do a shake and bake, you need to pass the ball behind the back or between the legs while doing a hop step. It's a very fancy type of finish, but not easy to make. Videos of that move, I can't even tell you, just to get it straight in my head. Oh, baby got that. That's why they call him Jake Crossover, baby. Next up, we have the spectacular pass. A lot of basketball players have fun doing it in the playgrounds. However, if you try to do it in games, you will most likely get benched, unless you're Magic Johnson. As we arrive near the end, we find Tony Parker's specialty, the floater. A floater is a quick released, unblockable hierarching shot. It's notably very useful when you have to face defensive help. And the final move on the list is the step back. A step back is a type of jumper where you step away from a defender to get an open shot. 
Among the many current step back masters, I'd like to mention three of them. Luka Doncic, James Harden, and Kemba Walker. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe.